All right, guys, Anthony Punchin here from PW Physique and Fitness. Now, um, I've got a spare half an hour, so basically I challenge my members to come up with five questions that I would answer in half an hour. This is my challenge, so I'm going to basically bash some out, okay? And this is number one. Now, uh, someone just asked me, what happens when your weight loss slows down and you get to a point that it's getting more difficult to, uh, to shift the fat? What can you do? What can you do to speed that up? So, first up, basically, I've laid out four Four little tricks that you can use to kind of get things kick-started again or to speed up any slowed weight loss, okay? First one is drink more water, okay? Now, you hear this a lot when, when uh, you go into a fat loss routine that you need to drink more water, and I've gone over the reasons for this probably a million times by now. In fact, when I used to write for Men's Health, I was actually known as the water guy because I would get people to drink up to eight liters a day, okay? And the reasons for that are numerous. Um, but long story short, out of all the people I've trained in my long career, uh, the people who drank the most water lost the most fat, okay? So bottom line, you can Google the reasons why that is at the moment. I'm not going to go over these in a short video, but the bottom line is the more water drank the most fat. Now, the reason I'm not spending the time on this is because actually I want to point out this one, which is what you can use to capitalize on this water is to drink it ice cold. It's especially easy as we come into the summer. Basically, what it does, everything in your body uh, needs to, to digest it. Uh, anything that you put in your body to digest it uh, requires a certain amount of calories to be heated or cooled to core body temperature and of course um, water doesn't have any calories to begin with so if you drink it ice cold that needs to be uh, heated up to core body temperature now it's only a little bit of course it's only a tiny little thing but if you drink enough of it if you are hitting your uh, baseline of two liters of water a day if you can double that to four liters of water a day and so on um, as you go on and you get better at it, then over the course of a week, you can burn anything up to about 1600 calories a week. And of course, that may not sound like a lot over the course of a week, but that's not through running, that's not through cardio, that's not through extra exercise, that's just by drinking water. So it takes nothing out of your day, yeah? Do that. Secondly, uh, thirdly even, uh, go for a half hour walk after dinner. Now, there are certain studies done that show that basically by going for a walk after dinner, you can increase um, thermogenesis, what we call thermogenesis, which is essentially uh, your body's process of eliminating heat, uh, which can be uh, tracked back to losing body fat, okay? And if you go for a half hour walk, it showed that while you were digesting dinner, obviously not going for a run or anything that's gonna disrupt that digestion process, but while you were doing that, going to doing some low level cardio, just going for a walk, it increased um, thermogenesis, it increased the calorie burn, okay? So if you did that every day, again, it's one of those little things you can stack up, burn a little bit more fat. Double it with this, take your water bowl, drink it ice cold, and you can push it up a little bit further. Lastly, if you're struggling, then swap out some of your uh, starchy carbs for proteins instead. And the reason we do this is because all the foods that we eat have what we call a thermic effect. So going back to the water, again, they require a certain amount of calories to be digested. Okay, um, proteins have a higher thermic effect than carbohydrates. In fact, out of all the basic um, macronutrients, which is proteins, carbohydrates, and fats, proteins have the highest thermic effect. So by eating more proteins instead of carbs, you can uh, burn more calories through the foods that you're eating, just through digestion, okay? Now, if you stack all of these four up while still following a proper calorie-controlled eating plan and doing the right kind of metabolic resistance training, then you can just generally kickstart your weight loss again and get things moving. And also, it can help to lose, the, uh, lose those last few pounds that are really tricky. All right, give it a try.